जय श्री माता जी जत श्री माता जी क्या भावना साक्षात्दिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नम Full attention on Sri Ganesha, on the Mother Earth, we allow our heart to open the divine vibrations to the joy, the sadness. the purity निर्मल गणेशा ओमे साक्षात निर्मल गणेशा साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला दे नमो नम Let our attention become aware of our roots, deep in ourselves, deep with the Mother Earth. On our roots, in silence.
Shri Ganesha Gauri Mata Om Tuame Vasaksha Shri Ganesha Gauri Mata Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Nama Kundalini Please remove all the obstacles to my ascent. Please destroy all evil all negativity within me and without. Kartikeya Om Tuame Vasaksha Tri Kartikeya Saksha Tri Adi Shakti Mataji Tri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Place our right hand on the lap and the left hand above the left shoulder and we'll press Sri Hanumana to bring us balance and power purify this world and ourselves. Sri Maha Sarasvati Hanumana. Om Tuame Vasakshat Shri Maha Sarasvati Hanumana Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi 
namo namaha Now many scientists think that they are the, in the modern times they discovered the molecules, it's not so because it's already in our old uh, scriptures description of anima is there, is of anu, renu is there, so it's already described there. Now, then whatever, wherever you see the electromagnetic forces working, it is worked through Harumanas blessings. He is the one who creates electromagnetic forces. So now we can see that as Ganesha has got the magnetic force in him, he is the magnet, He's the, he has got the magnetic force, then we can say the electromagnetic is, is the one which we call as Hanumana's force, on the material side of it. But from the matter, he goes up to the brain, so he rises from Swadhisthana up to the brain, so in the brain also he creates the co-relationships of different uh, sides of our brain. So how much he gives us? I mean, we can say if Ganesha gives us the wisdom, then He gives us the power to think. He protects us also that we should not think of bad things. That is, we can say that, that if Ganesha gives us the wisdom, then Sri Hanumana gives us the conscience. I hope you understand the difference between the two. Wisdom is where you do not need conscience so much because you are wise, you know what is good, what is bad. But conscience is needed in a personality where he is to be controlled and that control comes from Sri Hanumana which is the conscience in the human being. Now this conscience which is Sri Hanumana is the subtle form of him which uh, gives us, is in Sanskrit called Sat, Sat Viveka Buddhi, means Sat means uh, truth, Asat means untruth and Viveka means the discrimination and Buddhi means the intelligence. So intelligence to discriminate between the truth and untruth is given to us by Sri Hanumana. In the Sahaja Yoga system, <coughs> if we say that Ganesha is the one who gives us, 
He is the Adhyaksha, means he is the, I call him as the Chancellor of the University. He is the one who goes on degree to us. Now you have crossed this chakra, that chakra, that chakra. And he helps us to know that what state we are in. So the Ganesha gives us a Nirvichar Samadhi, which we can call it as the thoughtless awareness and nirvikalp samadhi. He gives all that and also He gives us joy. But the understanding that this is good, this is for our benevolence, mental understanding comes to us from Sri Hanumana. And it's very important for Western people because it has to be mental, otherwise they won't understand. If it is not mental, they cannot come into abstract. It has to be mental. And so the mental understanding of whether it is good or bad is given to us by Sri Hanumana. Without Him, even if you uh, become a saint, uh, you will be, of course, you are a saint and uh, you will enjoy the saintliness. But whether this saintliness is all right if you live on Himalayas or is all right when you go across to people to give them realization, all this scanning, this Viveka Buddhi, all this scanning, all this um, discrimination, all this guidance, all this protection is given to us by Sri Hanumana. Germany being a country which is very, very much, I should say, an essence of right side. And because of it being such an essence of right side, it's important to get the protector of right side here worshipped. But in all that, we make a buddhi, in that discrimination, he knows one thing that he is absolutely subservient to Sri Rama. Now what is Sri Rama? Sri Rama is the benevolent king. He works for the benevolence. And Sri Rama himself is a formal, formal king like some kocha we call it. I mean English words are not so good to explain, but Sri Rama is the one who is... Uh, who will not push forward himself. He keeps back. Uh, he's very balanced, he's a uh, very poised person. So the Hanumana, you see, he, he is the one who is always anxious to do the work of Sri Rama, always. If Sri Rama says, all right, you go and get the... Uh, he told him, ja, go and get the... Um, Sanjeevani is the kind of a uh, herb that was needed to bring Lakshmana to life. He went there and he brought the whole mountain with him. Now let her have it.
is so easily managed for you because you have been given the right. You have been given the special blessings, the special protection from the Divine that if you stand for the right and if you stand for the righteous and if you stand for the truth, all kinds of help to protect you will be given. Angels are aware of this, they are sure of it, they are certain, there is a certainty about it, but you are not. Still, sometimes things may be, may not be, same style goes on. Believe me, you are angels. You have all the powers and what rights you have. Human beings cannot get over you. That's the speciality of angels, not of saints. Saint could be maneuvered, they could be tortured, they could be troubled. Incarnations may do the same. Incarnations accept it. They want to have all these penances done to them so that they create an event in their life to express themselves in a more dynamic way. <clears throat> if there was no Ravana, there would have been no Ramayana. If there was no Kansa, there would have been no Krishna. So the incarnations take up upon themselves the problems and also the fight with the evil. So it looks sometimes that we feel that they suffer, but they don't. But the angels are a special category. They don't take up any problems upon themselves, they just solve them. If there's a problem, it's the angels who solve for the saints as well as for the incarnations. And they have to be told sometimes that don't jump in just now. We are working out on the stage now, you will jump when we'll ask you. They are ready, standing at the door, just to jump in. So anxious. <coughs> and there are fixed quantities. You can rely on them completely. For example, Sri Hanumana, as you know him as an angel, has great capacities great powers and it is his right to use them and he is very aware of it. He does everything very amusingly, uses his powers very amusingly, like he burnt the whole of Lanka and he was laughing at it. Then he extended his tail and put it round the necks of many Rakshasas and he was just playing with them and then flew in the air and they all were dangling in the air. So it's a playfulness of the angels also, because they're so confident. They're absolutely aware, absolutely identified with their personality, with their powers, with themselves. Here the Sahaja Yogis sometimes don't understand that I have made you into angels. I have not made you into saints, but angels. And you are always protected. I can only make angels, I can't make saints. Saints are made by their own effort. The effortlessness doing is like Ganesha, like Kartikeya, like Hanumana, 
the same way you are all made with the same style. So, try to understand that what I say about you is the truth. Kinds of conditionings work even through you people, though you are saints and you don't know how to spread your wings. Still, sometimes I feel that the rebirth has taken place and they have all become like angels with wings. But as little birds, they still have to learn how to fly. But you must gain your confidence by your experiences which you have in such a 